Vika. When you called me, I hurried to get here. You're here. Yes, I'm here. So now you can explain. What do you mean, Vika? You know what I mean. Why the hell is the bank calling me? Why the hell do I owe a hundred thousand hryvnias? Why are they telling me I'm your guarantor who just don't lie to me and say that you didn't take out a loan at a crazy interest rate? I did. I really just don't know why they're bothering you. <gasps> you said you were standing well on your own two feet. You're running two businesses. But how did you forget to mention that you owe so much money? I didn't wish you as a guarantor. I swear. I swear on Alinka's health. Don't you dare! Vika, wait! Mom. Mom. I saw it in a movie. Zombies get up like that. What time is it, son? Uh, it's 8 a.m. I overslept. You didn't. Everything's fine. I've already had breakfast and made some for you. And it's great you got enough sleep. You were crying last night. Yesterday, I thought we hit a lucky streak. A lucky streak? Girls, let me tell you about my lucky streak. It's just so much fun. And what does it all mean? Olenka found your ex-husband and Kahovka and invited him to her wedding, right? Does it mean that he has the right to get all the details, passwords, and phone numbers? Katia, calm down, please. No, I won't. Anna told me that he took loans in your name. Stop. First of all, he swore to me that he didn't take anything out of my name. Secondly, I'm not going to pay them anyway. But they're demanding it. I don't care. I'm not stupid. I was up all night looking for some information about these debt collectors. Okay. Find something? Nothing! They don't even have an address. Kramer Bank. What is it? Where is it? Who are the people working there? They call me from unknown numbers, only text with payment details. That's it. I've heard about those vultures. So, if Vika said that Sergei didn't list her as a guarantor, everything will be fine, right? <sighs> I went and checked out this Cromer bank. Maxim, I must say that experienced spies don't hide better than these guys. These are definitely collectors. Absolutely. Nothing is sacred with them. They call themselves a bank subsidiary, but they have nothing to do with the bank. Tell me, why do we need them? Our company doesn't even work with small banks, let alone collectors. It's not about the company, it's a personal matter. Give me their address. I need to have a serious conversation with them. Do you need my help as a lawyer? No, thank you. I can handle it myself. I'm a lawyer by education too, you know. I think I found my perfect dress. Honey. You look amazing. Really beautiful. I have something I'd like to tell you. Did something happen to Dad? No, 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 no. Everything's fine with Dad. Everything's fine with Dad, but... This but scares me. scared. I just... Want to let you know that I'll be coming to your wedding without your dad. That's all. What do you mean without dad? Then who with? I'll be coming with another man. What other men? But, but I thought- Honey, I didn't tell you who you should marry with. 
The dress is awesome. I pay with a card. Thank you. Have a nice day. I know that sound. Using the love app? No, I was just looking through it. I can eat a whole elephant when I'm angry. I'm not joking. Now, I need to find a lawyer and go to court. Hiring a lawyer costs a lot of money. Ugh. I sold an apartment to a lawyer once. I'll give you his number now. Great. Mm -hmm. Tell him that I recommended you, so maybe he'll lower the price. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Hmm? Yeah. Thanks a lot, Katia. One less problem to deal with. One less? Fika, what other problems? I told Olenka that I'd come to her wedding with another man, not with Sergei. But where can I find one by the day after tomorrow? You can hire an escort as a last resort, or I don't know. Oh, I don't even want to think about that. Fika, <laughs> you're in trouble. <sighs> you're right. <sighs> Today, things will change for the better. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's hard to believe. What about you? Mm-hmm. Today, your problem will be easily resolved. Easily? I wish it would. How did you find us? Kremer Bank? Is it your company dealing with Victoria Kovalenko's loan guarantee? I can't disclose that information. I'm not asking you to. Call your director and tell him that Maxim Menlik wants to have a serious talk with him about a case for 100,000 hryvnias. Same, Melnik? Hello, ladies. Hi. Hi. Why are you so sour? Because we ate too many lemons. Angela, you're lucky I didn't see you yesterday. Would have strangled you because of your stupid app. Did you run into a jerk? I was dragged through the mud. Then, everybody made fun of me in a club. Look, I ran into all kinds of weirdos there. Idiots are a dime a dozen, but you have to find the normal guy. But if you don't do anything, you'll keep sitting here with sour faces. Mm -hmm. It's better to do nothing at all than to go into that nest of scammers and psychopaths. Take a better look at your arson. <laughs> Did you just call my arson a psychopath? Hmm. Better watch your mouth. You should choose your words carefully and use your brain before recommending suspicious apps to your friends, idiot. Just like you. And then I'll take you to court for the theft of personal data. There was nothing illegal here. We didn't steal Victoria Kovalenko's phone number. Her husband gave it to us. This is a standard procedure. First of all, he's her ex-husband. Second, did Victoria Kovalenko give her consent to use her personal data? If she did, show me a document with her signature. But I know for a fact that you don't have such a document. Can we come to some kind of... agreement? I think we can. Now take your phone. Call Victoria Kovalenko. And tell her that there was a mistake and that she doesn't owe you anything. And don't forget to apologize. Hello? Yes? Well, I told you it was some kind of mistake. Okay, thank you. What'd they say what they say? You won't believe it. Today's fortune said that my problem would be easily resolved. How can I not believe it after that, Angela? Damn it. Hello? Is everything okay, Misha? Wait, I'll be right there. Hi, are you Misha's mother? I'm Mikolay, his sensei. 
I've already figured it out. Misha, what happened? Did someone hurt you? Get up and show me who it was. No, Mom. Everything's fine. You know, Misha's been acting weird at training sessions lately. He's been distracted and different. Oh, my God. The images I had in my mind, I rushed here like crazy. And you're telling me it's about my son's indifference? Isn't it your job to keep the kids interested? Yes, it's my job. And trust me, I do my best. Mm, yeah. I've been coaching for years and I've noticed that kids start acting like this when they have family problems. They're very vulnerable at this age. Listen to me, psychologist. Everything is fine in our family, got it? Or should I repeat myself? Mom, don't yell. Mikolay is a great sensei. Sweetheart, why are you so sulky? Well, because... Is it because of the bike? Let's go buy a bike today. Hmm? After the training session, okay? I don't want to, because I don't know how to ride it anyway. Never mind. I can teach you. You can? Of course I can, but first you need to warm up. I was wondering who gave Misha such a fighting spirit. Now I see. What's your name? Um, my name is Katruzia. Yama! Yeah, I knew there was some kind of mistake with the bank. Oh, I still can't get over it. Relax, Rika. You know, Ina, you've changed so much since you started working. Like a blossoming flower. It's not just about work. I got a message from a guy named Oleg on the app. I like him. Oh, he's handsome. But Ina, you always wanted a serious man in a suit. I did, but I can't get Oleg out of my head. So write to him. Write what? Well, you can start with... With hello. Muksayme! <laughs> Ray! Training is over. <laughs> Misha. Well, look at you. I never knew Aikido is such a beautiful martial art. It's not just beautiful. It's a whole philosophy. So, it's time to ride a bike. But we don't have one. That's okay. Let's go buy one now. Mm-hmm. Why waste time? We can always rent a bike. <laughs> Holy shit. Is that your boyfriend? No, I was just looking at his profile. I wouldn't just look at that guy. He's a walking sex symbol. Tell me his name and I'll find him on the app. I don't remember his name. Good evening. A very, very good evening. I'm glad to see you in such a good mood. Here you go. You can't imagine how nice it is to be in such a good mood. Something must have happened. And this something is very, very good. Yes, something did happen. I got a call from the bank and they told me there was a kind of mistake, so I don't have to pay them so much money. Congratulations. Yesterday I thought something was wrong. I'm happy for you. Uh, you can't imagine how happy I am. I can imagine that. a bike you see you can do it you just didn't believe in yourself <laughs> well done my <laughs> sasha learned to ride a bike at five and this one is just starting to do it shut up doesn't matter when he started riding a bike you're doing great remember <laughs> you said you couldn't do it mom you should try it's easy we'll help you right misha of course Woo! <laughs> i'm not okay. holding you wow whoa well ah! done <laughs> Let me help. Oh, you don't have to. Thanks. <laughs> Sometimes a piper is here, but it's just an everyday situation. I'd like to congratulate you once again on the fact that everything has been resolved with that bank. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm in such a great mood today. 
I want to jump and celebrate all day long. So maybe... It means that Sergei didn't lie to me and didn't lose me as a guarantor. They confirmed that it was a mistake. So he wasn't lying to you. And I've had all these ideas in my head. <laughs> can you imagine? I can. Ah, thank you so very much. It's time. I'm going to go. Okay. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so, do you live nearby? Not really. Hmm. I have the address of all my students and therefore their parents. Oh. These are for you. <laughs> for me? <laughs> yes. For what? I was on my way to work and realized that I didn't thank you for yesterday. <laughs> for yelling at you? <laughs> Don't thank me. I should be thanking you. You defended your son like a real mother. <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't outraged. I was even touched. <laughs> oh yes, I'll tear anyone apart for Misha. So do you have any kids? Yes, twenty. How many? Twenty. My students. Ah, uh, <laughs> students. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have any of my own, but let's not dwell on sad things. Will you come to the next training session? It would make me happy to see you there. Hmm, sure. Vitalik? Are you going to the store? Good morning to you too, Mom. I'm off to work. To work? Yes, to work. And? Oh. What is it that you do for a living? Do you sweep floors? Or maybe you're a cashier? I sell flowers in a shop. Hmm. Yesterday she cut her hair, now she sells flowers. So, you're not going to work today. Why? Because you have a date with Volodymyr. Who is Volodymyr? He's Antaraya's son. He's just divorced that whore of his. And now he's looking for a good wife. I've already given him your phone number. Mom, I need to go to work. Oh my god, what am I going to do with you? Grow up! You can always take off of work. But it's very hard to find a husband at your age. Hello, what's your name? My name is Ina. Please come in. He's waiting for you. You're Ina? And you're Volodymyr and Raya's son. That's absolutely right. These are for you, Ina. I hope you don't mind having lunch. Do you like French cuisine? Please, sit down. French cuisine is a classic. I don't understand all the trendy fusions at all. Your mother sent your picture to my mother, but your hair was longer in that picture. Now I have this hairstyle. No problem. You can grow it back. Please. Let's start with the onion soup. Then the quail a la Richelieu. And you can choose the dessert. How about a cherry confit? No, no. Tarte tartine would be better. Thank you. Volodymyr? How should we split the bill? 
Oh, these modern feminist things. The man should always pay the bill. Okay. What are you doing tomorrow night? I would like to invite you to the opera. Verdi's La Traviata is an immortal classic. Oh, Misha? Hi, Mom. I was talking to Mikolai, my sensei. Mm, wait. You don't have a training session today, do you? I joined the older group. I invited Mikolai over. We'll be there soon. <sighs> Damn it. Vika. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I'm okay. Are you still mad at me? There is nothing to be mad about. They called from the bank yesterday and say they mess up something with a loan guarantee. What do you mean by that? Yes. That's what I mean. So please forgive me for accusing you. I told you that I didn't list you as a guarantor, but you didn't believe me. I've already apologized to you. It just filled my head with such nonsense. You have to understand it was hard not to believe Those me. bastards. Let's let it go. Mm -hmm. Olenka told me that you're going to the wedding with another man. That's not true, right? You're just kidding? But if I'm not? Darn it, Vika, no. You... You were mad at me yesterday. You said a lot of stupid things in the heat of the moment, but still, we agreed to go together. Besides, the bank issue was resolved. Yes, it was, Sergey, but you know, trust is a fragile thing. Hard to gain and easy to lose. Sorry, I'm not ready to go to Olenka's wedding with you. Then who with? You don't have anyone else. What makes you think that? Maybe I'm in a relationship with someone. Oh, that's very interesting. So you were with me and him? We were in a break in a relationship at the time. Keep changed you, Vika. I never thought you'd become like this. Wow, it smells so good. But wait, let it cool down a bit. It's so cozy here. <laughs> I'm convinced that only a real woman can create such a cozy atmosphere. You can't fake the taste of tea or the smell of pie. If something is pretend and insincere, you can feel it right away. Okay, here you go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot. I brought some more candy. I'll bring it. Will you visit us again? I will if you invite me. I'll invite you. I'm excited to invite you, because my mom hasn't baked anything for a year. Um, Maxim, wait a moment. I want to talk to you. Sure. Um, I want to say thank you and express my gratitude for everything. For everything? For the job. Here. Take it. You really earned it. No need to rush. I'm still working for you tomorrow and I can take it then. This job, it wasn't money that was important to me, but other experiences. You know, I... I... find it very hard to get used to new, uh... people. But 
you were such a pleasant exception and I will I will miss you as a security guard now miss you too I've never had a boss like you Here you go. Thank you for your professional advice. Your orchid bro for a long time. Goodbye. Have you lost your mind? Why are you talking to me like that? Because you deserve it. That lady wanted to buy a big orchid. Why not sell it? That big one is sick. I'm going to treat it. I brought some fertilizer from home and we'll sell it later. We could have sold it today. This flower will die without proper care. That would be perfect. Then she would come back. Sveta, that's a cruel thing to say. Look, don't tell me how to run my shop. Are you talking back? You've only sold a few bouquets. You were playing hooky yesterday. Besides, you've been glued to your phone this whole time. This isn't a dating service. I only use the app when there are no clients. Look, I'm sick of you. You'll sell everything I tell you. I don't care if the orchid is sick or dead. I won't go into the red because of you. You're going into the red because of yourself, because you know nothing of flowers. You're fired. Hi. Can I help you? Yes, please. This is our new collection. Let me show you. You see how bright it is? Yes, but I already have a closet full of similar things. I'd like something... <laughs> romantic. Maybe this? Hmm. Do you like it? Oh, I like it. <laughs> I'll try everything on. And off we go. Mom? Misha, carry on. <laughs> is yours here too? Yes. Which one is yours? The sensei. Oh. What do you mean, sensei? He's my husband. Thank you. We're on a first name basis now? I see you're a woman from a decent family. We can take our time and switch to a first name basis after the first act. I ordered us box seats. After the opera, we're going to your parents. They're waiting for us for dinner. Why did you leave the training session? I did the Juwaza technique. So great! But you didn't see it. There are reasons for that, son. Did you get a call from work? Nikolai said we're about to have the next Q-test. Hey, there's a new Aikido school near our house. Yeah, I noticed. I'm gonna enroll you there. Giyuwaza and Q will be there too. I don't want to. 
It's better this way, okay? Why? Better for who? For both of us. For you and me. Let's go. Until you explain, I'm not going to be enrolled anywhere. <sighs> All right, I'll explain. I hope you'll understand. You're not a kid anymore. Mikolai lied to us. What do you mean? Did you see the woman who was sitting next to me during the training session? She's his wife. I'm sorry. Hello? Hi, Maxim. Um, do you have a minute to talk? Yes, sure. Are you coming to the cafe today? Is something wrong? No, no, everything is fine. I just need to talk to you. I'll be right there. Uh, I'm sure you'll manage without me. Dimitro, to the cafe. But the city is stuck in traffic jams. Dimitro, I don't often ask for a favor. Please come up with something. Hurry up, I'll pay all the fines. She called me. I'm afraid something might have happened. Where are you going? I am a driver, not a magician. I shouldn't have gone to those negotiations. Pablo, Ala, Ina and I met quite recently, but I feel like I've known her all my life. Therefore, I won't delay. I would like to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Okay. Volodymyr, why didn't you ask me first? I'm sorry, Ina. I was in a hurry. Ina, will you marry me? She will. Wait, Mom! Why do you make all the decisions for me? Volodymyr, we hardly know each other. You think you know what kind of desserts I like, what opera I want to go to, but you haven't even asked me if I like opera. But you do like Yes, it. I do, but that's not the point. I need to think. That's right. You should think about it. This is a serious decision. But not for long. You have a wonderful daughter. Thank you for her. I realized a long time ago that a man and a woman should be raised in the same way. They have to be cut from the same cloth to build an ideal family. Just like yours, where the husband works and the wife takes care of the family home. Well said. I know that your marriage... I know that your marriage broke up because you can't have children. I can. My husband and I couldn't. Okay. Don't worry. I have kids, and you know it's even better without them. Life is calmer. I can still have Why? children. It's getting up in the middle of the night. Children crying. Walls covered in drawings. Do you really want that? I need to powder my nose. So... You just ran away? Yes, and turned my phone off. I would have done the same. Vika, please tell us something good. Have you decided who you're going to Alenka's wedding with tomorrow? <sighs> Vika. I'm sorry for taking so long. Did something happen? No, nothing serious, but... <sighs> Will you be my wedding date? Hello. Hello. I'd like to introduce you to each other. This is Maxime and this is Olga and Valerie, Roman's parents. Nice to meet you. And almost Olenka's parents. Mm -hmm. Be our guest and help yourself. Your seats are in the front row next to the yard. Mm -hmm. Make yourself comfortable. Oh. Mom, you're 
you're stunning. Sweetheart. Mom, I'm so happy, but I'm also so scared. Why? I don't know. Tell me. Is it okay? Yeah, sure. But I hope you're not going to run away from your wedding, are you? <laughs> no, mom, I'm not. Why would I? I've never run away from Roman in my life. I wish that your life will always be like it is today. <laughs> Dear friends, on behalf of the bride and groom, I welcome everyone to this incredible wedding. Today, two loving hearts, two soulmates will unite under this ark. Oneka Kovelanko, do you agree to take Roman Bondere as your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Roman Bondere, do you take Oleka Kovelanko as your wife? I do. Okay, please exchange the wedding rings. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You are now family from this moment on. Shameful. It's so shameful of you to invite a guest, a potential fiancé, and then run away. I didn't invite him. What will Aunt Raya think of me and Dad? You're worried about what Aunt Raya will think. You don't care whether I'm happy with this man or not. And why wouldn't you be happy with him? He's rich, reliable, and well-educated. He's a catch. Or have you already found someone better? Where is he? I haven't found him yet. And you won't find one. You'll be selling flowers all your life. I won't. I got fired. That's wonderful. Wonderful. No job, no money, no husband. Is that how you see your future? Listen to me carefully. Yesterday, I told Vladimir that you felt sick and went home. Tomorrow, Aunt Raya is coming back from Malta. We're having a big family dinner at our place at 7 p.m. The main thing is to pretend that nothing has happened. No. What do you mean, no? It means I won't come. Because I don't want to be with this man, Mom. When Roman was seven, he said, Mom, I'll never get married. I'll never find someone like you. It became a family story. But then, years went by. One day, Roman came to me and said, Mom, I met her. Children, be happy. Now a kiss! Congratulations. Now we would like to hear some of the other family stories. We invite the bride's mother to say a few words. Vika, please. I'm the bride's father, let me speak. As they say in football, our team is making a substitution. The floor is given to the bride's father. Olinka, I love you so much. I've always loved you and I always will. Be happy. Roman, take care of her. You're a real man. As for me, I lost my love. I'm all alone now. I'm all alone in the world. And she's making fun of me. She came to the wedding with some random guy. With a security car from her cafe. Damn it, Vika, why are you doing this to me? I feel bad enough without you doing this to me. Now a kiss. Let the music play. Hello. May I come in? We can talk here. Okay. Misha was absent for training today. I transferred him to another Aikido school. Katrusia, I don't understand. Did I do something wrong? What happened? Nothing happened. Everything is fine. Everything is perfect. 
The only thing I ask is that you never come here again. You have a beautiful daughter, and it seems like she's really happy. Thank you. I hope she'll be happy all her life. I'd like to thank you for playing the role of my date at this wedding so well. But what if I'm not playing? Vika, will you dance with me like we did before? It's okay. Let's all make a scene. Everything's fine. Okay. <laughs> you replaced me with this security guard? Sir, you don't embarrass yourself at all. Don't do it here. Okay, I won't ruin everything. But will you lend me some... some money? What? You have a business, an apartment. Those sharks from the bank, they're attacking me. Please, just give me some money, please. I swear I'll pay it back. I swear, just please give me some money. I just, I'll pay it back, I'll pay it back, please. I'll pay it back. Let me go. You replace me with a security guard? You won't give me any money? Tell me, how did you manage to remove your name from the list of guarantors, hmm? You're a monster, Vika! A monster! Sorry, everything's fine. You have to understand, such a celebration doesn't happen every day. Shh. Listen to me. You're leaving now. Washing up. Sobering up and not approaching Vika anymore. Who the hell are you to tell me what I should do? I'll smash you. Let go of me. First, let's make a deal. You're going to Kakovka and spend your own money and your gambles. Leave Vika alone. Get out of here. Here. I'm sorry. It's okay. can't. He's my husband. Everything okay, Misha? No, it isn't. I don't like this new school. What's wrong with it? Maybe you're not used to it yet. The sensei is a bit weird. I asked him when we were going to practice Bukiwaza. You know, it's when you're using weapons. But he didn't know. Just tell me, are you sure about Mikolay? Maybe he's not a liar at all, and it just seemed that way to you. I wish that were true, son. But I don't think so. Thank you for today and... For everything. For everything? You are helping me and defending me. So many times this week. No one has said I think you're exaggerating. I know what I'm saying. I wish you all the best in your new job. Goodbye.
What if I ask you to stay at the cafe? Would you agree? Vika, I'm afraid I won't be able to refuse you. Of course I'll stay. No idea, you're so cruel. I'm cruel? Mm-hmm. I... I found Dad. I thought you guys would make up. <sighs> Poor Dad. Mm-hmm. So you feel sorry for him? Yes, Mom. I feel sorry for him. I really loved your father. And I believe that we would be together for the rest of our lives, like my parents were. I couldn't even think that something would go wrong. But your father turned out to be... <sighs> How can I put it? A weak man. What do you mean, a weak man? Weak when it comes to women. People hinted at it, but I didn't want to believe it. Until one day I went to my neighbors. To borrow some garlic, I walk in on your dad, in bed with the neighbor. Dad told me that you made up your own mind and ran away to Kiev. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't. I ran away. After he started blaming me instead of apologizing, he said that I was obsessed with you and that polygamy was a common thing among men. Well, should I have just forgiven him and moved on with him? I don't want to believe it. He's still my father. I understand, honey. I didn't want to believe a lot of things and... I thought he had changed, so I almost forgave him. But recently, I learned more about him. He started gambling. Gambling addiction is a serious illness. He lost everything he had and wanted me to pay off his loan. Mom. I'm sorry. Never mind that. You have nothing to apologize for. I told you from the beginning that your Maxim was different from other men. He's a normal guy. Why are you calling him mine? He likes you. Why do you think he likes me? He just... went with me to Alenka's wedding. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> he helped clean the floor. Mm-hmm. And kick out the drunks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have a feeling that if there's ever any trouble, he'd always be there. Do you remember how he rushed oh, to yeah? save Anna? He rushed through all the traffic just to see you. Don't you notice? Don't you see the way he looks at you? And this is his, look, this is what he says. Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he says it. <laughs> He's just a well-mannered and decent person. Vika, I'm sorry, but even I see it. You're glowing talking about him. <laughs> That's because he's a normal guy. Besides, he hasn't messed up anything. He saves you, he helps you, but we just need to check if he's married. <laughs> Girls, you're making all this oh, up. open your eyes. This is all nonsense. <laughs> Look, <laughs> you should see yourself right now, Vika. <laughs> <sighs> oh, but we have to check if he's married. As for me, I thought I found my one and only. But Mikolai... What? He's married? Mm-hmm. Oh my 
God, that's awful. Shame on him. Girls, I've always said that all the good guys are already taken. We're sitting here like fools. Mm. So, Vika, don't lose your chance. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Katrusia, we need to talk. No, we don't. Yes, we do. All conflicts should be resolved through dialogue and understanding. Listen, I don't need your philosophy. Everything is very simple. I don't want to see you. Katrusia, please explain. All right, I'll explain. I'm not a saint, but I hate when people lie to me and my son. I thought you... You're just like other men. So, let's part ways. Good luck. And don't approach Misha. Got it? Hello? I'm calling about renting a retail space. No, it's on Nalibaco Street. It's a flower shop. How much? I see. Let me think about it and I'll call you back. Gems look real. All the gems are real. 17,000 hryvnias for everything. And that is my final price. Okay. Did you really sell all your jewelry? All of it? Yes. I decided to get rid of everything old and start new. I wanted to open a flower shop and make people happy. But wait, why are you saying it in past? I only have money for rent, but I also need flowers, vases, furniture. I saw how much money was needed when I worked for Svetlana. Hmm. It just wasn't meant to be. I need to get real. Okay, look, don't worry. We'll lend you some money, okay? Yes. Girls, thank you, but I'm tired of borrowing money. Ina will help you. The main thing is not to give up on your dream, right? Right. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh. Hello? Yes, that's me. Really? That's possible? Yes, I can start on it tomorrow. Thank you. Girls! The man who's renting the retail space said that the developer, Melnick, agreed to give me a rent deferral. <gasps> I'm opening my flower shop! This is so I was great. really angry with this Melnick guy, but he's turned out to be a good man! <laughs> awesome! <sighs> Be careful with the flowers, please. Don't worry, boss. Everything will be fine. Boss. So that's how it is, then. Exactly. You lied about needing money and begged for an advance payment. But now I have it.
Maxim, good morning. You're coming this evening, right? Right, but I was walking by our cafe and decided to wish you a nice day. <laughs> I hope you have a nice day too. Would you like some coffee? No, I don't have time. I'm in a hurry. But I need to have a very serious talk with you. Just don't tell me you're quitting again. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> then what's the serious matter? I wouldn't want to talk in such a hurry. So, if you're free tonight, I'd like to invite you for a cup of tea. Even... Coffee needs a break sometimes, right? Um, tea at your place? Uh, no. I was recommended a very cozy place. Where they make the kind of tea that reveals the whole truth about people. So, what do you think? Sounds great. See you later. Beware of surprises. <laughs> Nonsense. Let's go informal. Okay. Tell me about yourself. All right. I have my own flower shop. You know, I decided that I wouldn't just sell cut flowers or potted plants. I've already brought so many plants from home. Have you ever seen lithropes grow? No, I haven't. They grow from special stones. Just imagine. Have you seen passion fruit bloom? No, I haven't seen you that have either. You have to see it. Of course, exotic plants require special care. But I decided I would provide free consultations to my clients and give them fertilizer for their plants. Why haven't you done that before? I just opened the shop today. You can congratulate me. Wow. Let's go somewhere and celebrate. Are you hungry? I'm a bit hungry, but I'd rather take a walk. Okay. You'll have to stop me because I can talk about flowers for hours. Apple turnovers, apple turnovers, apple Wait, turnovers. Wait, I'll be right back. Ten hyphnias each. Ten? Here you go. How many? Give me all you have. Wait, I'll give you the change. Keep the change. Thank you very much, thank you. Here you are, here you are. There were only apple turnovers, so... Thank you. Mmm, it's very tasty. You know, I've never bought them. I've always baked them myself. You're a businesswoman. You know everything about flowers. And you even bake turnovers. How many talents do you have? You're right. I didn't even think I could do that much. It's funny. A few days ago, one man said I was no one. He's a fool. How dare he? Your chai tea. And your flowering tea. It's brewed in a special transparent kettle so that you can see how the flower blooms. Just wait a little. You're about to see it. Take the cups. Enjoy the aroma, the taste of the first tea, and then the second one. Inhale the scent. Now wait. Everything's so serious here. It's not how I imagined it. <laughs> but, in this formality, let's go informal. <laughs> All right. So, were you born in Kakovka? Yes. My parents lived there all their lives. They wanted me to study medicine, but I got pregnant with Olenka. So I choose family. But they always supported me. It's such a pity that they're gone. You 
you have a wonderful daughter. She's as sincere and tender as her mother. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, but according to our establishment's rules, you are not allowed to talk. Our guests enjoy tea, not conversation. It's a sacrament, a process. <laughs> so what did you want to tell me? I guess. I need to start from the beginning. My parents are lawyers, it's a dynasty. But I didn't want to become a lawyer. I wasn't interested in that. So what were you interested in? I like construction. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. You see, I'm not a regular security I'm guard. I'm sorry, I warned you. You are violating the rules of the establishment, so you'll have to leave. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> I said... Sorry. It's work-related. I need to take this. Hello? I'm listening, Oksana. No problem. Come over to my place tomorrow afternoon. All right. I'm sorry. So I said to her... What's the matter? Everything's fine. Pick up the phone. I need to go anyway. I have to water the flowers in the shop. <laughs> Even back at school. <laughs> I was never kicked out of high school in such a way. <laughs> I feel like I broke the rules for the first time in my life. <laughs> Look, we still need to have a serious talk. I, I have to tell you everything. To set the record straight. Tell me what your big secret is. Hmm? Believe me, it's serious. I... Uh, <laughs> Vika. I've been really wondering how you could have left me for this security guard. I thought about it for a long, long time, but today I found out. You fell for millions, didn't you? Sergei, you should get some sleep. Millions? That's right, millions. Today I talked to the debt collector. They told me that the person who removed you from the list of guarantors was named Maxim Melnik. Yeah, it's true. Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. I wanted to tell you about it today. I told you. It means that you're Melnik? The same developer. Then why did you pretend to be a security guard? The rich just won't understand the poor, Vika. You remember our first conversation at the cafe? I do. You're the one who took me for a security guard. Couldn't you just say you weren't a security guard? No, I couldn't at the time. So did you think that I was the bastard and he was the prince? You know what? Just leave me alone. Both of you. Girls, it's just like in the movie. Like when he pretended to be a janitor, but he was really a prince. 
Now I understand why they repaired the entrance so quickly. And they gave me a rent of all. He was sitting here, heard everything. But why would he play act? Was he making fun of me? I told you his bike was expensive. Mm-hmm. He said it was a used one. Liar. I just don't understand why he did it. And Mikolai? He's also a liar. He gained my trust. And later, I found out that he was married. They're all assholes and liars. And womanizers. Who do you mean? Oh, I mean Oleg from the app. I showed you his picture. Do you remember? Mm. Girls, we had a date yesterday. But he has as many women as I have flowers in my shop. He was making dates with them right in front of me. What am I supposed to think? Holy shit. Hmm. Misha, where are you going? To the training session. But you don't have a training session today. Yes, I do. You know, Mom, I thought about everything. We don't need anyone. We're great together. Just you and me. And if someone offends you, I'll give them a hard time. A very hard time. Oh, Misha, what have you done now? Excuse me. Take these roses instead. They'll bloom until late autumn. And the azalea is a gift to you. Thank you. Okay. Here you go. This is for you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. You stole all my clients, you know that? I don't sell sick flowers. Besides, you fired me. Hmm. If I uh, hire you back, will you close shop? Sorry. It's too late. You'll come running to me. Why did you lie to us? Come here. Masha, explain to him that we're getting a divorce. There's nothing to explain. Send your documents and you're free. Do you understand? Mom, come here! I know you're following me! You've got it wrong! He's getting a divorce! He didn't lie to us! I brought the divorce papers. Sign and send them back after. No problem. Goodbye. Let's go, Misha. Ina. Oleg, 
How did you find me? You said your flower shop was in the area. So I went around one by one. You didn't have to. I did. Ole, women text you, call you. Just choose the one you like. Well, what if I don't want to choose? Why are you arranging meetings with them? They're my clients. I repair their cars. You didn't mention that yesterday. You didn't ask. You can ask anything. I work at a repair shop, and I have a lot of clients, both male and female. Look, for example, Tanya needed her Mazda's engine checked. I checked it. Everything is fine. So, does that mean these women aren't your mistresses? If I had so many mistresses, would I have spent so long looking for you? Vika! You're not answering my calls. You're hanging up, but we need to talk. About what? About us. What does us mean? About me and my security guard? Or about me and the owner of this residential complex? Or maybe about me and the guy who lied to me? Look, I'm here because I'm ready to explain everything to you. I wanted to tell you everything yesterday. I heard the phrases I'm ready to explain and I wanted to tell you but didn't have time for my ex-husband so many times. I'm sick and tired of liars in my life. Look, but... It would be best if you left now. You should have still asked him why the hell he was putting on the show. You still don't get it? He lied to me. He pretended to be someone else. Okay, I could ask him again, but he lied to me again, it's obvious. I'd rather check it out. Me too. Probably. Girls, no offense. If you want to check someone out, go ahead, check your all a Mika Lei. I've made my decision. See how you were doing. But I can already see. I checked him out. All right, I'm going to take her suitcases outside. The taxi will be here soon. Okay. Honey, be happy. Take care. Go with me, okay? Mm-hmm. Every day, Mom. <laughs> Every day. Good morning, Dimitro. Good morning. To the office? Tell me, how long has it been since you've had a day off? Well, the same as you, Maxim. Hmm. Then, 
Today, you have a day off. And tomorrow. And the day after tomorrow. She didn't want to listen to you? It's my fault. I played the security guard role too long. Maybe try again? You don't know her. It's final. End of story. Enjoy your day off. Oh my, you know, what terrible news. You found a good way to get rid of your competitors. Yeah. If you think so, then prove it. I will. We have a lot of surveillance cameras in our complex, so there's no point in proving it. What are you doing? I'm repairing your shop. Ina. Why are you here? I missed you. Hi, Vega. Hi. <sighs> you okay? What happened? Yes, everything's fine. I have a business proposal for you. Oh, no problem. I'll be glad to help you. Please do me a favor as a real estate agent. Find me another apartment. Preferably in another part of the city, and preferably not in residential complex by Malnik. Also, I need to sell the cafe. Fika, are you serious? Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh my god. Are you sure about this? Absolutely. Come on, girls. Your faces look like I'm dying instead of moving. Hmm? <sighs> I'll rent an apartment. When I sell this one, Katya will find me a new apartment. I'll open a new cafe in that part of the city. Hmm? Well, it's hard to get to the other part of the city. We got together every day here. But now, we'd be lucky if we met once a month. Come on, don't be so dramatic. Fika, Enna's right. 
it'll never be like it used to be. The passing of an era, finita la comida, the end. Call it whatever you like. Girls, life goes on. We need to remove the bar counter, place the doors. I'm gonna ask for a discount. Replace? You know what? You need a new sewage system because the pipe bursts frequently. Also, the wiring has to be changed. It's not good. Better yet, find another cafe where you don't have to change anything, hmm? You're a strange real estate agent. <sighs> Misha? Injured? Misha, what happened? A crack? A fracture? Have you been to the hospital? No, we haven't, but there's no fracture. Maybe a crack. Damn it, Mikolai! Where the hell were Mom, you looking? it didn't happen at a training session. It happened when I was outside. Mikolai just brought me home. <sighs> I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, so... Let's go. The car's downstairs. We're going to the emergency room. What's so funny? Look, why don't you tell the truth? What truth? Misha, you won't fool a master of sports with a fake injury. Spill it. So is Misha okay? There's no fracture? There's nothing there. And what was the point of this act, huh? I thought... If I'm injured, you'll take me home, and Mom will come, and then you'll make up. <laughs> you seem to have grown up, but you're still a child. You're just like children. Everything has been cleared up for a long time, but you still can't talk normally. So, do you have a lot of clients? Yeah, a lot. There are even regular ones. Hmm. I never imagined you as a businesswoman. My jeans. Now... I'm sure that you weren't switched at birth. Bosh. What? I'm just so... happy. I think if everything goes well, I'll rent another retail space. Then you can start a chain of shops. You've always been obsessed with flowers. My daughter. Mom. I'm sorry, but we're already closed. I didn't come for coffee. Oh, are you here to discuss buying the cafe? Not exactly. Are you Victoria? Yes. I'm Dimitro, Maxim's driver. Uh, he's already sending his agents. I'm sorry, I'm very busy as you can see. Nice to meet you, goodbye. I'm not his agent. I came here of my own free will. All I need is 10 minutes of your time. Hi. This is for you. Bon appetit. Thank you. A hamburger? I won't fit through the door. These are my parents. I'd like you to meet them. Very nice to meet you, Oleg. Pasha. Allah. So, I'll come back later. Goodbye. What's this? It's a hamburger, Mom. That's not what I mean. I mean this, him. Basha, get my pills. Um, that is Oleg, my boyfriend. Decent men look completely different and you know that. I know, I saw it. Does he at least have a job? Oleg works as a car mechanic at a repair shop. Basha, 
Can you see something? The same thing I said before. I'm not an expert in your girl's stuff. Then I'll be the one to say it. It's unacceptable. We don't need a car mechanic in our family. Mom, Ina, I that's enough. you to. I'll be in a relationship with whoever I want. I don't care if you like him or not. I've been working with him for many years. I know a lot about his life. He was married. He was madly in love with his wife, Valentina, but later he found out that she had been cheating on him with another man for a long time. Moreover, they were wasting his money together, so he got divorced. His soul is wounded. You know, we all have our own bad experiences and wounded souls. But if we don't pretend to be someone we're not. I was the one who advised Maxim not to say his name right away. You should see how women flock around him. Their eyes are empty. The only thing they want is his money. You know, I didn't want him to meet another Valentina. I'm an old man, but I came up with such a stupid idea. He feels bad without you. Very bad. Can I help? Today you will find what you've been searching for. Isn't that wonderful? For playing the role of my date at this wedding so well. But what if I'm not playing? It's such a great apartment. I'll take it. Let's sign the agreement tomorrow, and I'll transfer the money. Great news. It's you who's great. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye. <sighs> so? You can congratulate me. I just sold a good apartment. A sweet deal. Katrusia, do you flirt with all your customers that way? Of course not. I was just being polite. Look, you're acting as if we're a couple. But we hang around. We could hang out some more. <laughs> what if I don't want to just hang around with you? What do you mean? Katrusia, let's live together. You, me, and Misha. Think about it, because I really want that. Okay? He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. Oleg. No. Nothing happened. I just got sick. Nothing serious. I have everything I need. I miss you too. Vika, hi. Hi. Listen, I know today is your party, your farewell party, but I'm a real mess. What's wrong? <sighs> Mikolai asked me to live together. <gasps> what do you want? <sighs> I don't know. I believe him. I believe that everything will be fine. Am I talking nonsense? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy? And Misha? Misha doesn't know yet. <laughs> oh, Ina's here. Ina! The pregnancy test doesn't show anything yet, but I've never had a two-day delay. <gasps> Girls, I feel it. 
I've been dreaming about having a child all my life. What if Oleg doesn't want he to? He will. He will. Don't, Don't say, say that. that. Of course he will, girls. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> oh. Okay, Mama. May I pour you a drink? Ah, <laughs> <sighs> for us. For us. <laughs> Come on. Angela. And much more. So, what happened? The wedding's canceled. Arson's an asshole. He turned out to be a marriage fraudster. Sorry, Katia. You were right about this app. Friends? I'm sorry. Oh, girls. Blackthorn is in blossom. Blackthorn is in blossom. But the blossom falls down. Who doesn't know love that all doesn't know sorrow. Who doesn't know love that also doesn't know? Let's go. Come on, we have to go. Misha, Nikolai, and I would come to this cafe again. <laughs> and I'll come here with my little one for some ice cream. Maybe even with Oleg. Definitely with him. Wait, I've been gone for two weeks and y'all found love? What about me? 